Hello, good evening. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start in a couple of seconds. Class number <clears throat> class number seventeen. How to use wood? Um. Previously, we have seen uh. Previously, we have seen uh this modal verb. Ya habíamos visto este verbo modal would right how to use would like to this is the class number 17 la clase numero 17 So let's see <clears throat> who do we have here. So this is uh, the topic is how to use would like to, como utilizar would like to. Es uno de los uh, modal auxiliaries. Just give me a second, se lo dame un segundo mientras veo acá ciertos mensajes.
So to start uh, tonight, here we have some, I'm going to check the attendance list, reviso la lista de asistencia. And here we have phrases for describing relationships, que son frases para describir las relaciones. Okay, so in this case, uh, here we have, well, like, like very, well, we have different options. Tenemos diferentes opciones. Number one is I'm single. Cuando dicen I'm single, se refieren que se está soltero, soltera. Number two, I'm with someone, ¿verdad? Si están con alguien. Three, I'm dating someone, o we are dating, ¿verdad? Si ustedes están saliendo con alguien. Uh, we are engaged. It means going to get married. Significa como que si se van a casar, ya, ya están comprometidos. Engaged. I'm married. Eh, soy casado, casada. I've been married for 10 years, for example. Un ejemplo. Eh, I've been married es yo he estado casado o yo he estado casada por tantos años. I'm divorced, ¿verdad? Estoy divorciado, divorciado. I'm getting divorced. Es me voy a divorciar. Here we have some other. I'm widow, ¿verdad? Eh, viudo o viuda. I'm not looking for anything serious. Cuando no se busca algo serio. I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm not quite over my ex. En el caso que no se ha superado al hacer en amor. I'm not quite over my ex. El otro es, we're just friends. Solo somos amigos. We broke up. Cortamos, terminamos. My relationship is complicated, ¿verdad? Eh, mi relación es complicada. O oh, I'm interested in. Estoy interesado en. Estoy interesada en. Y la última, fiancé, es eh, ya el, el prometido. Comprometido. ¿Ok? So, here we have this. Maybe the first part is easier. Creo que la primera parte es más fácil, right? So, I'm going to check the attendance list. Mm -hmm. Ana Cristina, I don't know if you're there. Hi, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. I am single. Thank you. Um, Brian? Hello. Are you there, my friend? Okay, maybe Brian is not here. So let's move to David. David, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, my friend, select one of these, please. I am with someone. Thank you. Doris, are you there? I don't know if Doris is here. Okay. Um, Stephanie, no, Stephanie, right. Eh, Gracias, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello okay, hello. I'm not quiet over my ex. Thank you. Se escucha bien trágico. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Hector. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. I'm with your man. Thank you. Okay, Imelda. Hi. Okay, maybe Imelda is not here. Let's listen to Ivan. Hi, Ivan. Thank you. I'm going there. Okay, creo que Joanna. Creo que Serena. Creo que. Okay. No puede. Brian, no le sirve el, el, el microphone. You have problems with your microphone. Um, okay, intenta, um, Brian, unplug, unplug again, desconectarlo. Y si no, reinicia. A veces Zoom es el, el que está fallando, Brian. Sucede a veces. Puede reiniciar, ok. No, no hay problema porque te desconecta un par de minutos, luego te vuelve a contar, pues. Lo que estás conectado, ok? No problem, Brian. Eh, Doris, hello. 
ya también te vemos por acá. Doris. Ok. Um, Laura, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I am single. Thank you. Luz y Dalma. Hello, Luz. Hello. I, I've been married for 10 years. Thank you very much. Uh, Miguel. I'm single. Okay, thank you. Nelson. I am getting divorced. Okay, thank you. Ricardo. Hi, teacher. Good evening. I am single. Thank you. Wendy. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. I am single. Thank you. Wilmer. Uh, good evening, teacher. Um, I am with Some, someone. Mm -hmm. Someone. Thank you. Very nice. And Jasmine, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I did it of being married. No, it's a broma. Voy a poner. Okay. I am married. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Thank you for saying. Okay, okay my friends. Now we're going to do something. Let me check here. Okay. We're going to, to say this. Would you like to plan your own funeral? ¿Te gustaría planificar tu propio funeral? Yes, no. I mean, maybe when you can have like mm, plans in advance. Pueden dejar como planes por adelantado in case you pass away. En caso de que ustedes pasen a mejor vida. Okay. Would you like to do that or not? Not talking about the topic. Okay. Depends on you. I'm going to, you can say yes, I would because si me gustaría. ¿Por qué? Yes, I would like or no, I wouldn't. Why? Vamos a decir las razones, ¿ok? We're going to check uh, the answers in the chat and then I need you to mm, participate later, ¿ok? I'm going to wait for your answers. Espero su respuesta.
Okay, let's start by reading some of your opinions. I guess it is a very interesting this topic. Some people uh, consider that it is good to be in advance of the funeral, some other. So in this case, we're going to start with Let me check who, Brian, uh, what about your microphone? And uh, does it work? I don't know if it works. Then ya vamos a probar. Uh, Ricardo, you, we start with you and then Hector, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I would like my funeral to have a lot of food and music. And a presentation with part of, of the best moment I spent in life to remember me as a happy person. Mm, very interesting. Okay. Food and music in a presentation of photographs. Very nice idea. Yeah. Happy moments, of course, right? Good. Okay. Hector and Gracia. Okay, teacher. Of course, I would like to play my funeral. I would leave the instruction and how it will be carried out in will be a well organized event where everything will be fulfilled as I wish it. Okay, yes, like a, a plan of some details, right? And that could help even to your family to 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 have a different moment, right? Nice. Very nice, actor. Thank you. Gracias. And then Nelson. Okay, gracias. No, I wouldn't because I prefer that my family to get involved with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. In your case, you consider that your family will plan that when that moment comes, right? They decide. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Nelson and Wendy. Yes, I would like to. Mm -hmm. It just uh, prepare it to know, not leave so much expense to the family. We have paint for space in the cemetery, coffins, and the ceremony site. Okay, nice. And even the taxes, right? Because in the city hall, uh, you have to pay. Even it is not a big quantity, but it is good to to take care of all details, right? Good, like cementary, yeah. like maybe a, a funeral right ceremony. You can pay in advance. Se puede pagar por adelantado todo, right? Yes, it's very expensive. Uh -huh. Yeah, could it be? Because yeah. the key word here is expenses, los gastos, como lo mencionas, right? Yeah. Thank you, Nelson. Very interesting. Wendy and then Ivan. Yes, I would like to plan. In fact, I have mentioned to my family where I want them to bury me, to present all the memories with them, to sing my favorite music to me. Although it is, it is strong to think about that at the moment, it is a topic that's, that is not those about daily, but that call be a boy avoided. avoided yes well like culturally if you notice uh we are not accustomed no somos acostumbrados. we are not accustomed to talk about these topics in the family because some people consider that it is for bad luck or it is sad conversations gente que piensa que por mala suerte conversaciones tristes or something that people don't don't to have to take care about, como que no se tiene que, 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 que apresurar o tomar importancia a eso, but, well, honestly, it could be good if we have, like, a plan or some wishes, algunos deseos, ¿verdad? <laughs> Thank you, Wendy. Ivan and Jasmine. Hi, teacher. Hello, Ivan. Teacher. Yes. Okay. So, I already have everything applied. I want to cremate um, my ass is cleared on a mount or volcano. Um, 
and play and I want to sing a piece by Pedro Capo to play. Uh, in your case, it's very specific because you are saying that you you want to be cremated, mm -hmm. very specific, right? And your ashes scattered uh, on a mountain or volcano. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Even a ceremony could be uh, in that place, right? Yeah, very good. I don't know La Fiesta by Pedro Capo. Okay, maybe I'm going to listen to that. Lo voy a escuchar. Thank you, Van. Okay. He, he, he say, want no cry. But, uh, we, they, they going to, uh, to take, uh, para llevar. Vino, no, no, yes, mm -hmm. vino, no, 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 Okay, just mean. Okay. Uh, yes, I like to because it will be very strange in some uh, boot and wood would like to organize everything, but white in wood like most would be see. See how many people will arrive. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, I know it is strange and sad, right? But mm -hmm. it is an opportunity to organize everything, like your last wish, como tu último deseo, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, Miguel and Laura. No, I won't. I won't. Because I prefer that my family decide. Okay. Even in these uh, situations, uh, it is like opportunity that people get uh, united. Es como para que se una también la familia. Mm -hmm. Could be like that way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bien, Brian me dice que estás intentando, ¿verdad, Brian? No. Okay. Yo lo dejo. Ya. Se corta. ¿Ya? Hello. Ahora sí. Ahora sí. Oh, yes. Ya. Yeah. Bye. Ok. Uh, well. Uh, it's my turn. Uh, I prefer my family to do. It's in city. Uh, it's a difficult time. And I feel like it will be a burden to worry about. Mm -hmm. Ok. You, you prefer your family to take uh, care of this, okay? And even as I, as I was saying, um, some family members like take the leadership and they have like some obligations in this case. For example, one say, okay, I'm going to go to the cemetery. I'm going to go to the city hall. Uh, I'm going to prepare what food, bread and all those things. So it's opportunity to help, right? Thank you. Laura and then David. Okay, Seria. Yes, I will do it this way. This way, I will help my family and about avoid sudden financial express. Yes, uh, it is sudden. Mm -hmm. sudden. Uh, sudden que sí. No, no, lo dijiste bien. Es cuando sale de repente. Sí, es, eh, sí, inesperado. Well, más o menos. So, yes, avoid selling financial expenses. Could it be that maybe you don't have like a very specific plan, but if you don't want to leave a plan, si no quieres dejar un plan específico, you can uh, save money and have that quantity, right, to your family. And you say, okay, in the me. case I pass away, here you have some some money for for my funeral, right? Exactly. Good idea. Lo men, por lo menos lo básico, lo básico, eh, sí. lo que más se pueda gastar. Ya después uh -huh. quedaría como la familia si quiere hacer algún pequeño detalle o algo, pero ya lo básico 
lo más costoso, se podría decir, financieramente. De hecho, sí, y, y de hecho, well, in, in these um, situations, uh, sometimes people, when you don't have a plan, people, uh, if uh, in the family there is not much experience, you know, much experiencia, sometimes our decisions are taken in a, like, uh, I don't know, like in a rush, como que a veces toman decisiones a la ligera y todo eso, so, yeah. It's better at least to, to, to have pay some things. Thank you, Laura. Interesting point. Uh, David and then Anna Christine. Well, no. I think we'll give the plan to my family. Let them Mm -hmm. do what they have wanted. Okay, yeah, nice. Uh, families take a decision, right? takes decisions, yes, for your funeral, and they can do ceremonies or whatever they want, right? Thank you, David. Ana Cristina, and we finish with uh, Wilmer. Before I die, I would like to plan which cemetery I want to be buried, the church where I want to have a ceremony among other details. Mm -hmm. And even there is some economic collaboration that you give to the church, right? Or in some churches, you have to pay, right, for that ceremony. It happens, right? Could it be Yeah. nice? Imagine uh, a special church that you like or you prefer. Could it be in that place, right? Thank you, Anna. And Wilmer, please. Okay, uh, saving plan for my funeral, help the family financier. Mm -hmm. Financially, yes. Savings plan, plan de ahorros. Mm -hmm. Another option, right? If you don't, if you want to help your family, at least in some aspects, right? Thank you. Very nice, eh, my friends. Thank you. I remember that we all respect all your points of view. Respetamos todos los puntos de vista. And it is important that we have different uh, like forms to say it, diferentes maneras para de verlo, right? So, yes, of course. Okay, let me check this. Okay, would, it's a word that we have used before, ya es una palabra que hemos utilizado. Eh, de hecho, el día de ayer, yesterday, I was explaining to you um, some of the ways how to how you can use it algunas maneras como se pueden utilizar and we're going to have a conversation about this we can learn more about conversation than some other exercises right but we're going to have some worksheets uh, here we have conversation one and conversation two let's see uh, here we have a man and a woman and they say what do you want to do in the future i like to be a chef i want to have my own restaurant what kind of food would you like to cook i'd like to cook greek food oh if you do that i want to eat there i'd like that verdad le dice que quieres hacer en el futuro me gustaría ser chef quiero tener mi propio restaurante qué tipo de comida te gustaría cocinar me gustaría cocinar comida griega Oh, si haces eso, quiero comer ahí. Me gustaría eso. I like that. O me gustaría, sí, me gustaría eso. Conver conversation two. Who would you like to meet someday? Who would you like to meet someday? I'd like to meet Bill Gates. What would you ask him? I'd ask him about his life. I want to know his secrets to success. I'd like to know that too. That would be wonderful. Y le dice, eh, ¿a quién te gustaría conocer algún día? Me gustaría conocer a Bill Gates. Uh, ¿Qué le preguntarías? What would you ask him? I'd ask him, eh, le preguntaría acerca de su vida. Quiero saber su secreto para el éxito. Me gustaría saber eso también. Eso sería maravilloso. ¿Ok? Remember, I'd, ¿verdad? I'd like. Here we have, aún. Kind, Greek, secret, 
success. Okay. And I need you to have a screenshot of this, please. We're going to practice. Creo que está bastante uh, práctica esta conversación. Lo estoy ordenando. Let me check this. Okay, my friends, uh, see you in a moment. I need you to practice. Necesito que practiquen. And then I'm going to select two teams. Selecciono dos equipos para practicar eh, frente a toda la clase. Okay, my friends, accept the request. Solicit accepten la solicitud. Y recuerden intercambiar diálogos, interchange dialogues. Ana Cristina, ¿puedes, eh, ¿puedes aceptar la solicitud? Sí, ya, ya no la encuentro, la solicito. Ya te la envío de nuevo. Ok. Todavía no, permítame. Ahora. Sí, ya te la envié. Le di un ir, pero no sé por qué me regresa. Prueba ahora. Ok, permítame.
Okay, let's listen to some of you that um, some volunteers for conversation one or two. If not, I'm going to select some of you, okay? It is not that difficult. So maybe I can select David and Ivan. Could you, Podria? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Mm, perfect. Okay. Quien comienza? Yo comienzo. David. Okay. Okay. What do you want to do in the future? I like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What king of food would you like to cook? I like to cook great food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. I like that. Perfect. Thank you. And we're going to have the other team. What about Brian and Hector? Could you? Conversation one or two depends on you. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian, Brian, is there? Yes, Brian, yes, sir. Right. Okay, who starts? Who begins? Yeah. Yeah. I begin, teacher. Okay, actor starts, please. Who would you like? Would like? You like to meet some day? I'd like to meet Bill Gates. What's good? You ask him. It asked him about. I'd ask him about his life. I'd like to know that too. That would be wonderful. Seguimos con la tres, teacher? No, 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 it's okay. Ahorita así estaría bastante bien. Thank you, thank you, my friends. Mm -hmm. yes. That would be wonderful. Si se dan cuenta, casi toda esa conversación lleva el I, 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 ¿verdad? Que puede ser I would, pero no. Ok, let's continue. Um, yesterday we were checking this. Some articles or equipment in our job that um, maybe has difficulties in special uh, computers. But we have also ways to report a problem. In this case, we have two options with would, I would like, or también pueden decir I'd like. ¿verdad? We did uh, this yesterday, hicimos esto ayer. Right, so, <clears throat> in this case, here we have possible uh, problems. Here we have one, two, and three items. Pero quizás solo vamos a seleccionar un, uh, un item un item que podría ser un parte del equipo podría ser <clears throat> podría ser printer y cuál es el posible problema run out of ink ok entonces yo lo que necesito es que me que me mencionen un normalmente qué es lo que les falla. What is something that fails in your job? Okay. You write, for example, printer. 
and then you write like this. Ya envié un ejemplo, el mismo ejemplo. ¿Verdad? Printer, run out of ink. Solo una cosa, because here we have three, but we have some exercises. Tenemos algunos ejercicios acá que quiero hacer para aprovechar el tiempo y no cargarlos mucho, ¿ok? Mention one uh, article, equipment, or something in your, in your job, in your company, that commonly fails. Puede ser elevador, elevator, puede ser las gradas, electric stairs, o podría ser coffee machine, different things. Similar como cuando ustedes mencionaban que reportaban un problema. But in this case, just write uh, one part of the equipment and the possible problem. Así como se en el chat. So we're going to check some answers, <clears throat> right? Remember, just mention one of the, the uh, parts of the equipment. And could it be the computer, photocopy machine, elevator, electric stairs, uh, main doors, la puerta principal. Could it be like... Mm -hmm. Different things.
Ok. Um, ok, Wendy says uh, Wi-Fi network connection. Ok. <clears throat> Iván, ahí están algunos ejemplos. Como lo están haciendo los demás. Eh, Luz. Mm -hmm, no problem. Printer jam paper. Yes, Luz. And this happens especially when you are in a hurry. Normalmente cuando se tiene prisa, el papel se atasca. I don't know why. It, it happens. Eh, Ricardo says, eh, yes, the pa paper jam and the printer. There's no good communication with the PC. Okay. The ink cartridge is empty. Yes. Miguel says, computer don't run programs. Yes. Or sometimes eh, they, they run the programs. It, the computer runs the program, but slowly, super lento. Ivan, uh, computer, uh, yes, don't turn on. Yes, it happens. Uh, David's security machine does not sharpen. Well, mm -hmm, could be. Nelson, the printer does not print a PGR form. The toilets, they are get clothed frequently, yes. Coffee maker, the coffee runs out of quickly, yeah. <laughs> Remember, Nelson, the people love coffee. People love coffee, so, yes. Sometimes you, you want to go for your cup and there's no, co there's no more coffee. Hector says, computer does not load program, definitely. The car, keep the kids inside. I'm sorry, I mean, yeah, this is, this is a very tra tragic. Yeah, Brian says, Printer run out of ink. Ink hoses are empty. The power cable is damaged or born. Yeah. Thank you, my friends. Yes. Could it be? So if you notice, um, it is not just one thing that happens in the office or in the company. Uh, there are some bad days. Maybe bad luck. I don't know wh why, but uh, you can accumulate uh, negative things right? Problems in the company. Okay. And we're going to have a listening. This listening is kind of easy, right? No va a ser tan difícil. Um, just give me a second. I'm going to prepare this uh, audio that I have here. Okay, we're going to listen three times just in case you have some difficulties to identify some words, phrases, or ideas. Okay, let's listen the first time. Yo no escucho, teacher. Teacher, no escucho. I'm sorry, I didn't... I didn't share completely the... 
the audio. I was just sharing maybe the image. Yeah, here is the problem. I'm so sorry. Uh, here we go again. The first time. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, second time. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, and the last time. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. I guess it is kind of obvious, right? The topic of this listening. Do we have some volunteers to share what you listen? Any word? Ricardo? Habla hey. sobre, uh, creo que sobre, sobre las mamás. Yeah. Sobre las madres. Eh, en una parte dice de que las madres son fuertes. Mm -hmm. No sé si me equivoco, pero menciona algo sobre los nueve meses. Mm, could it be? Mm -hmm. Ya vamos a ver. A ver si me parece. No, es, no está de creativo. Te amo. Cuando deje, sí, cabal. Vale. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, here we have uh, Brian. Thank you, Ricardo. Brian, and then Jasmine. Well, uh, she said um, the mothers is a uh, reason for for her existence. Uh, the mothers love the children selflessly, and what uh, and the mothers have have idea what is bad for her children. Thank you. Definitely, Jasmine, please. Eh, comienza con my mother pitch pitch creo que e is s is synthesis eh, luego a mother love their children so my mother is my lovers experience eh, or mothers over one over children's or people solo eso mm -hmm. no, it's okay it's okay thank you uh, well you have very nice listening. Do you have some other word or phrase that maybe was not mentioned? Well, if not, I'm going to present uh, here my mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Normalmente se dan cuenta que lleva siempre la palabra speech en el título. Por ejemplo, my mother's speech, el otro es technology speech, y es speech significa discurso. Yes, um, basically it is what you mentioned. A role model, mother are strong, yes. A, they have carried out for nine months. Yes, Ricardo. No, no, ya ve que no lo han perdido. Ya ve, ya ve, ok. Que sos honesto. Thank you, yes. Mother always wants what is best for her children. Yes. So that's it. 
Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, my friends. If you notice, it is not that difficult, right? Well, um, let's move now. We're going to have a worksheet. Aquí tenemos una hoja de trabajo. I'm going to present this. So, the use of wood, it is very common. El wood se parece un poquito, bueno, se, el mismo está, la, tiene la misma ubicación que el should y el could. ¿Verdad? Es la misma ubicación. Así como se ubica would, también se ubica should y could. ¿Verdad? Um, here we have un ejemplo. If we are talking about he. Look at this. He would like a cup of tea. A él le gustaría una copa, una copa, una taza de té. Pero si queremos decir una acción, decimos, he would like to drink tea. A él le gustaría beber té. La diferencia, the difference is that here we have a verb. Aquí tenemos un verbo. Esa es la diferencia. Que en la primera oración solo tenemos a good like y el objeto. Y aquí tenemos good like to. ¿Ok? Igual si dijéramos con you would like a cup of tea. ¿A ti te gustaría una taza de té? Or you would like to drink tea. ¿A ti te gustaría beber té? For the negative, here we have wouldn't. ¿Ok? I'm going to write the pronunciations. Wouldn't. It's the pronunciation for the negative of would, right? So, uh, for the negative, in the same uh, exercise, the same sentence, the same example, you wouldn't like a cup of tea. A ti no te gustaría una taza de té. You wouldn't like to drink tea, right? And for questions, as always, would is at the beginning. Como siempre, para las preguntas, would va al inicio con como un auxiliar. Por ejemplo, would you like a cup of tea? ¿Te gustaría una taza de, de, de té? Como dice Doña Florinda, would you like to drink tea? ¿Te gustaría beber té? La respuesta de siempre sería I would, he would. Perdón, yes. Primero utilizamos yes or no. Son preguntas cerradas, ¿verdad? So, yes, I would, no, I wouldn't. Yes, he would, no, he wouldn't. Right? If you want to, si quieren tomar una captura de pantalla de eso, también pues puede ser muy útil. Right? Y tenemos abajo que dice grammar notes, que son notas gramaticales. I would like a cup of tea. It's more polite to say I want a cup of tea. Bien, la palabra want, como aparece acá, significa querer. Listen. Si ustedes dicen I would like a cup of tea, me gustaría una taza de té, es diferente decir quiero una, una taza de té. Se escucha más amable, me gustaría. No quiero, right? Next, la siguiente dice I would like a cup of tea. It's often contracted I'd. Es lo que yo les decía, ¿verdad? Que se dice I'd. Rara vez se dice I would menos que esté en escritura. Pero normalmente se dice I'd like. Um, para decir yes, I would, esto no se, no se hace en la contracción, no se, se dice yes, I, sino yes, I would. Y la última respuesta, una oferta. Eh, en lugar de decir no, thank you, is considered more polite, no, I wouldn't. Normalmente cuando se le ofrece algo, se le dice no, 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 gracias, no, thank you. Se puede decir no, I wouldn't, pero normalmente es no, thank you. So, and here we have some, basándose en esta, based on this chart, three charts, affirmatives, negatives, and questions, we're going to complete uh, this uh, 12, well, 11 sentences, because the first one is already answered. So, number one says, I'm thirsty, soy sediento. I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Estoy sediento. Me gustaría un vaso de agua, por favor. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para que vean qué oración van a completar. 
Recuerden, como siempre, tengan dos o tres opciones de oración. ¿Cuándo es eso? ¿Cuándo es eso? ¿Cuándo es eso? ¿Cuándo es eso? Démosle mañana. Yo tengo libre mañana. Ok. Yo trabajo. Yo trabajo mañana. Yo también trabajo, <risa> Brian. Sorry. <risa> we, we can't. Ok, my friends. Let's see. Vamos a ver que, con cuál se, se animan. Uh, from 2 to 12, Ricardo, you want to be the first. Ok, then no, just no, no, me. 11. 11, let's go. Yeah. Sería, what would you like to do tomorrow? Perfect. Thank you. What would you like to? Yes. Perfect, thank you. Jasmine. Eh, no estoy tan segura, pero la number two. Number two. Ajá. Eh, would, would you like a drink? A, mm -hmm. a drink. Ajá. La respuesta es yes. We. Yeah. Ahí me quedó duda. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que estamos utilizando? Would. Mm -hmm. would. Dream. Oh, would. Would. Ah, would. Would. Thank uh, you. Yes, we would. Yes, we would. Thank you. Gracias. Your turn. Sí. Ah, yo we... quería el número dos, pero ahí voy Interes. a intentar. Tener opciones. Number three. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. Number nine. Nine. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Vanilla. Vanilla. Como Vanilla Ice, el rapero. Uh, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice ice cream? Thank you. Wilmer and Nelson. Híjole. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh, number 10. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, would you like see you see a movie? To see a movie, porque hay un verbo, sí. ¿verdad? Would you like to see a movie? No, I. La negativa de would sería. Would not. Mm -hmm. Would not. Or oh, wouldn't. Vamos a poner would not. Thank you. Uh, we go with Nelson and Brian. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Would you like to work on Saturday? Okay. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. no, no, I. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. Thank you, Brian. You go. Uh, at number six. I think that yes, I would like a ticket. Can you have? It? Okay, thank you. Yes, I would like a ticket. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Are you mass? Number seven, teacher. My friends would like to come to the party next week.
Seven, right, my friends? Would like to. Mm -hmm. Okay, who else? King Mas. Let's get three, four, five, and twelve. Ok, vamos a hacer algo. Yes, Jasmine. Ok, vamos a hacer algo. Entonces ahora um, vamos a hacer una actividad para que nos quede bien claro la, lo de las oraciones en presente, I'm sorry, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Por ejemplo, puede ser con I si quieren, ¿verdad? I would like to... Eat pizza, ¿verdad? Esta, vamos a ver, vamos a cambiarla en lugar de you. You would like to eat pizza. La vamos a cambiar para negativa. You wouldn't like to eat pizza. Y la última sería... Bien, necesito que la misma oración esté en afirmativa, negativa y pregunta. ¿Ok? Esperaré sus oraciones en el chat.
Ok. Mm, good sentences. Tenemos buenas oraciones por acá. Let's see if we have... Ivan, could you read your sentences? Then we go with Ricardo. Ivan, hello. I speak in mute. Ah, sorry. Uh, she would like to drink coffee. Would she like to drink coffee? She wouldn't like to drink coffee. Perfect. Thank you. Ricardo and Brian. Okay. You would like you would like to read the news? You wouldn't like to read the news. Would you like to read the news? Perfect. Thank you. We go with Brian and David. You would like to play video games. You wouldn't like to play video games. Would you like to play video games? That's correct. David and Jasmine. You would like to visit my family. You wouldn't like to visit my family. Would you like to visit my family? Perfect. Jasmine and Miguel. You would like to drink water. You would like to drink water. Uh, would you like to drink water? Thank you, Miguel and Wendy. You would like to dance in the party. Would you would like to dance in the party? Would you like to dance in the party? Thank you, uh, Wendy and Hector. I would like to go to the park. I will. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa teacher? Wouldn't. Wouldn't. I wouldn't to go to the park. Would you go to the park? Thank you, Hector and Nelson. Okay, teacher. Wouldn't you like to run in the park? Wouldn't you like to run in the park? Wouldn't you like to run in the park? Muy bien, solo que la primera y la segunda, recuerda que would, eh, you va al inicio. You would like to. You wouldn't like to. Okay. La tercera está correcta cuando va would al inicio, no porque en las otras va you. Thank you. Nelson and Laura. Okay. You would like to play soccer. You wouldn't like to play soccer. Would you like to play soccer? Thank you. And Laura. Would you like to drink a coffee? Would, would not. Would you like to drink a coffee? Would you like to drink a coffee? Yes. Solo que Laura, uh, la, en la uno y en la dos, you va al inicio. Ah, sí. You, sí, you sí. Like. Ahorita estoy viendo. <laughs> Lo siento. No problem. Thank you. Wilmer, your turn. Okay, uh, you would, would like to play tennis. You would not play, not like to play tennis. You would you like to play tennis? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, we're going to, we're going to um, share opinions about this. I consider that this is a very a, a very interesting topic that could be uh discussed since we have um a certain uh, number of kilometers in this territory we have the minimum salary you know the possibilities to get a job or the quality of life of the kids or uh, different types of uh, yeah co context or situations that affect the the childhood here in El Salvador so I want to ask you should El Salvador have birth control yes no and why I need you to uh, share opinions here please in the in the chat and then we're going to read and well speak about this topic that in I consider that could be taken into account okay I'll be waiting for your answers
Well, we start uh, by checking this. Uh, Ricardo, please, uh, you start. Okay. I think if, teacher, because mm -hmm. we are a small country, we no longer have room. But it's something very difficult to promote in the population. Mm -hmm. So a proposal will be a scandal. Mm -hmm. Remember that uh, people will... Here in El Salvador, we have different, or well, common belief, re, uh, talking about religion. And this is something that they have, uh, something that has incidents. Yes. The way we have been educated, I consider that could it be like a proposal, but yeah. Like, I don't know. Pero mm, la población del país no está preparada para una propuesta de esa. Eso yeah, sería and, un escándalo a nivel internacional. Yeah, and even maybe uh, people uh, will feel that they have, like, uh, the government is limiting them, como que los yes. están limitando, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Correct. Well, thank you. Good point. Uh, Brian, and then we go with Gracia. Okay. Um, yes, Brian. I feel the I feel that is a something necessary for a couple to be responsible, uh, if they needed it. Yes, and uh, the key word in your opinion is responsible. Mm -hmm. That's it. And parents or couples are not quite responsible with all the kids that they have, right? So that's maybe one of the points that we consider this. Uh, Gracia and Wendy. Okay. Of course, yes, because not all people have the financial and mental capacity to have children with the ideal conditions for their proper development. Development, yeah. Um, if you notice um, the financial, I mean, economic, aspect in mental health, uh, it is not balanced for all the parents. And there are, uh, we have like parents, no, we have couples that they have the financial capacity in mental health, but maybe they can't have kids because the other reasons, right? So, well, it is true. Thank you, Gracia. Uh, Wendy and Jasmine. Yes, because this work reduced the percentage of low income in many families in the country. There will be more opportunities and the overpopulation will be reduced <laughs> and the economy was sustainable. Sustainable, yeah. Sustainable. Um, <clears throat> the, per the percentage of low income mm -hmm. And I guess the key word in your opinion is opportunities. Opportunities uh, could appear, right? And imagine how many professionals we have here in Sabor and they are not uh, working in the in their area, right? But is that because of what you mentioned, overpopulation? Thank you. Well, one of the reasons. Thank you, Wendy, Jasmine, and David. Yes, I would be good to have more control, but for mother, uh, we do not value being a mother. Do not value being mother. And even there was a case one month ago, I guess the last month, that there was a baby on the trash, I guess. And the, some police officers, uh, well, attending to the call. And yes, there was a baby on the trash. There was a pues, parece que un infante, un bebé, mm -hmm. entre la basura. Mm -hmm. So very, very hard. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. There are some mothers that maybe, because many reasons, they don't want to be mother. And yes, there is something 
that happens when they are not responsible. Uh, we go with David and Nelson. Well, no, because it can lead to injustice for some and benefit others. That should be one's own responsibility. Okay, yes. Uh, it depends on the responsibility, right, of every couple. And could it be that for some families, they want to have a lot of kids. Maybe they have the capacity to do it. And as I was saying before, uh, it is like very uh, problematic to limit someone, right? Thank you, David, for your opinion. We go with Nelson and Hector. Well, in such a small, a small country, I think that just every year's life is more difficult. It is not like the guys uh, go with the family with uh, more than three children. It was less complicated. Currently, with jobs, traffic, there is less space for housings and many other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nelson, uh, you mentioned something important. Uh, decades ago, decades uh, ago, right? mm -hmm. it was very different because there was more space, había más espacio. I'm not saying that people were living in the Anapalas, but yeah, there was more space. Now we have a lot of streets, a lot of traffic, and imagine in the urban areas, in the areas urbanas, people mm -hmm. live in very small spaces, right? And it is complicated when they have a lot of kids. The house, very, very small. The house, very, now, very small. The houses, if yes. you compare houses now that they are building in, well, different companies, and muchas compañías están construyendo casas, in comparison to the houses that were built in the past, que fueron construidos hace 40 años, diferentes, right? The yes, yes. The spaces. So yes. that could it be? And that is uh, based on the number of, of people that can live in that house. Número de personas que pueden vivir en esa casa. Yes. Good. Good point, Nelson. We go with Hector and Miguel. Hector, your turn. Okay, teacher. Yes, it shall have it. And it shall have aguarent programs for a bigger quality of life. And could it be like programs uh, educating people like having having them or trying to to teach some of the benefits of this right it is like um in some other countries because they were facing this kind of problem financial problem they had to sí. limit the, the families related to the kids right so it could be a program but the results, imagine if we have that program, the results are not going to be so fast. It can take a lot of years that people understand maybe some of the positive aspects of this uh, initiative. Thank you, Miguel and Cristina. Mm, yes, because the financial financial and uh, mental capacity now is preparatory. Mm -hmm. And even when you men uh, mention financial and mental capacity, it can refer to adults, but also it refers especially to teenagers. When they have kids and they are studying in the high school or basic school, it is very complicated here in El Salvador because we have this uh, reality. It happens. It happens, unfortunately. And Christy. Okay, Christy. If it is necessary to have control to avoid overpopulation and reduce unemployment and other economic factors. Thank you. As you mentioned, we can avoid different aspects or problems here in El Salvador. As you mentioned, overpopulation, unemployment, uh, traffic, uh, could it be quality of life? In different aspects can be uh, reduced 
by doing something like this. I agree with all of you. And even as Ricardo, I guess, was saying that, yes, our country is not prepared for different things. And it is not that people are bad. No se trata que la gente sea mala, but our way of thinking, nuestra forma de pensar is very different in comparison to Europe, in comparison to other countries when they have different type of education, different type of life. So that's it. Thank you, my friends. We're about to finish, right? We have just one more activity. And this activity is related to a conversation that we have related to work. Look, here we have Mike and Maria. Uh, Mike says, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem? Miss Ochoa, it doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be right away. Bien, entonces aquí aparece Mario, pero tiene que ser Mike, ¿verdad? Porque es con la persona con la que está hablando. Let me check some of the words. Accounting, accounting. Uh, maybe I'm going to underline. I better underline. Okay, this is accounting. Este es report, no report. Es report. Um, strange. Como la serie Strange Things. O oh, Doctor Strange. The Marvel. Noise. Message. Ok. Message significa mensaje. Si dice massage significa masaje. Message. Uh, ok. Right away. Ok. Entonces le dice Mike Hernández, ¿verdad? Departamento de Tecnología. Hola, Mike. Eh, eh, cuando decimos, this is Maria, es como, soy María Ochoa del de, de, de Contabilidad. Me gustaría reportar un problema con mi impresora. ¿Cuál es el problema? Señorita Ochoa, Miss Ochoa. Eh, no parece estar trabajando y está haciendo un sonido extraño, un ruido extraño. ¿Hay algún mensaje en el panel de control? Sí, dice servicio. También hay una luz roja en el botón de eh, error. Me gustaría que viniera a revisar. Ya veo. Estaré ahí en un momento o rápidamente. Okay, I'm going to select the, the, the teams. Vamos a practicar un par de minutos. Ya casi vamos a terminar. So I would like you to have a screenshot. Me gustaría que tuvieran una captura. Ok, my friends, see you in a moment. La última vez que practicamos, regresamos y vamos a terminar la clase. Luz, ¿te llegó la solicitud?
Ok, um, let's see to finish. Vamos a ver si terminamos con... Jasmine y Nelson, ¿podrían colaborarme con esta conversación? Creo que todavía no están. Y esperamos a los demás. Ok, the time is passing by. Creo que el tiempo ya se fue solo comentarles dos cosas uno es que me estaban informando que eh, algunos eh, tienen les hace falta um, algunos minutos de conexión así que la indicación es que no falten estas tres clases que hacen falta viernes, lunes y martes no falten, conéctense desde el inicio de la clase hasta el final ¿Verdad? Son 120 minutos por clase. Eso es lo primero, ¿verdad? Eh, voy a escribirles algunos que, que sí les hace falta, pues, eh, esos minutos de conexión. Así que, por favor, no falten para que no les afecte el que ustedes puedan este, aprobar el curso. Uno. Dos. En estos días le van a enviar la información de la encuesta de satisfacción, esa no la completen, la vamos a hacer el último día de clases, la última clase, perdón, que va a ser el martes, recuerden, encuesta de satisfacción no la hagan, la vamos a hacer el día martes, perdón, la, la clase del martes en la noche, lo vamos a hacer al mismo tiempo todos, así como lo hicieron ustedes el, el módulo pasado eh, Wendy, ¿estás por ahí? Yes, teacher Please, ¿te ¿me puedes quedar un momento ahora? Está Para bien. la sesión, uno a uno. Ok, y el resto, come up, pulgar arriba en el chat. Así, paso lista. Y nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Veo mañana. Bye, bye. Goodbye, bye. See you, my friends. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you, my friend. Bye bye. Okay, Wendy. Es un par de, 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 de preguntas. La primera es que antes de este curso ya habías tomado otras. Sí, teacher. Ya había estado en una academia. ¿Dónde habías eh, estado? En Belit. Ah, qué bien. ¿Cuántos módulos hiciste ahí o qué niveles hiciste? Quiero ver. Estaba en el básico, estaba por terminar el básico. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué pasó? Eh, pues por pandemia, eh, como nos encerraron a todos, ya dejé de ir. Ya no es... estuve aquí en Salvador por mucho tiempo, entonces por eso lo dejé. Comprendo, comprendo. Tú no, no, no resides en San Salvador. Sí, pero durante la semana nada más. Comprendo. Eh, bueno, pero eh, puedo notar que tu pronunciación es bastante buena. Eh, tienes eh, cierto vocabulario y pues tu inglés es bastante... Bueno, sí se nota que has estado en otro curso realmente. Y pues espero que, que a pesar de que ya hayas pues estudiado ciertos... Eh, bueno, el nivel básico, espero que estés aprendiendo ciertas palabras o ciertas cuestiones que... Que, han estado, sí. que hemos desarrollado en las clases. Sí, de hecho estaba hablando yo con algunos compañeros cuando nos unimos así en las clases, en los grupos, de que sí, algunas cosas que vi en la academia, bueno, algunas de las que he visto aquí en estos cursos, tanto el primero como este, no los vi allá en la academia. Entonces, uh -huh. pues porque fue algo básico, ¿verdad? Igual en la universidad se ve algo, pero no tan profundo como acá. Y siento que sí, la explicación está bastante, o sea, súper bien. Eh, igual siento que sí ha aprendido. Me alegra. Siento que eh, en un inicio te noté un poquito como tímida. Uh -huh. Pero para con los speaking activities. Pero me, me he dado cuenta ajá, que, que de hace como una semana y media para acá, ya tus respuestas son más consistentes. 
son más sí, extensas, sí. utilizas más vocabulario incluso nuevo y, y no, felicitarte pues por eso. Yo sé que las speaking activities son un poquito eh, extrañas a veces, unas preguntas bien... Las preguntas, sí, <risa> todo sí. el día pensando que voy a responder. Pero, <risa> pero fíjate que cuando tienes esas preguntas, quieras o no, estás practicando el inglés en tu mente o al menos tienes la idea de que tienes que pues, decir algo, entonces no es Ajá. como, bueno, mi objetivo, permíteme. El objetivo de las speaking activities es que no suceda como a veces que tenemos cursos o tenemos clases en inglés y durante el día no pensamos en nada de eso. Uh -huh. oh, ¿verdad? entonces estamos trabajando y cuando llegamos es como que nos volvemos a conectar eh, uh -huh. con, con, con el tema sino que eh, mi objetivo es que durante el día este, estén como un poquito alertas que uh -huh. puedan preparar su respuesta y si te das cuenta se escuchan no como un nivel básico a veces ¿verdad? Sí, sí, la mayoría ha mejorado un montón pero un Eso. montón hemos mejorado, pero es por la interacción que tenemos durante la clase también, porque al inicio, por ejemplo, en el módulo 1, eh, era raro quién participaba, entonces solo quién se atrevía a participar, quizás por el miedo, porque yo soy una de las que sí me da miedo la pronunciación, uh -huh, que es una de las cosas que me, que me cuesta bastante. Entonces, quizás por eso, pero ya en este segundo módulo siento yo que sí hemos participado más. Eh, me alegra. Quizás porque otras veces, bueno, cada teacher tiene su metodología, ¿verdad? Sí, claro. eh, y, ajá, y a veces quizás se les deja como a libertad para que, para que opinen, para que participen, pero fíjate que ese punto es bien crítico, porque uh -huh. allí me he dado cuenta que hay muchos estudiantes que, que, que mejor se quedan callados. Uh -huh. Se frustran por ciertas inseguridades que todos tenemos cuando estamos aprendiendo cualquier cosa, no solo el inglés, por cualquier cosa. Entonces, dar ese paso es, es, un gran, eh, es una cuestión bien positiva. Si das el paso de hablar o de, o de practicar, ya es, es, algo, ya, ya es una batalla ganada. Entonces, cuando... Cuando todos participan y todo eso, me gusta porque al final no, no se sienten juzgados, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Todas las opiniones son importantes, aunque si te das cuenta, algunos sí están de acuerdo con, con, con algunas ideas, pensamientos y otros que no. Sí, sí, ¿verdad? sí, es variado, es variado. Sí, sí, y, y eso, de eso se trata. El grupo está bastante bueno porque no se hacen burla, nadie no, no, no. ¿verdad? viene a, a sentir que que habla bastante o que habla mejor que los demás, porque sí hay diferentes Exacto. niveles de inglés. Sí, pero sí. Pero siento un grupo bastante maduro, entonces, um, la verdad es que siento que, que están bastante bien, pero sí, eh, en estas dos semanas han dado un salto, ¿verdad? Y me alegra. Sí, bastante, bastante. Igual por nosotros, creo que es un logro, porque pues todos tenemos miedo de hablar, de sí, pronunciar. Sí. Eso, y fíjate que... Eh, aunque se equivoquen con las palabras ustedes que no les importe sigan y, y, y de eso se trata ¿verdad? por eso cuando están hablando normalmente yo no los interrumpo uh -huh. ahí los dejo que, que se inspiren que se liberen pero ajá, hay palabras que sí se, se, se las corrijo porque eh, son nuevas o son un poquito complicadas pero hay otras que, que poco a poco se van viendo así que yo considero que bueno de las cuatro áreas más bien entre escuchar y hablar, ¿con ¿cuál consideras que tienes un poquito más de facilidad? Eh, hablar, escuchar me cuesta. Comprendo. Aunque sí Ajá. comprendo, sí comprendo lo, algunas palabras o algunas oraciones, pero sí me cuesta captar eh, los audios. Por eso no sé si ha notado que en los audios yo no he participado en todo. No participas, en ningún, ajá. En ninguno he participado porque es, es rara la oración que yo logro captar de lo que escucho. Sí, y normalmente, como te digo, um, no les, si te das cuenta, no les pido que me digan oraciones. Uh -huh. o, o ideas, sino que hay algunos que me dicen palabras, palabras. Entonces, yo solo le entendí eso, sí. pero está bien 
porque si identificas una palabra dos, ya tu cerebro está contextualizando um, la información que te están dando. Así que este, es importante, como les digo, aprenderse la, los coros de las canciones, cantarlo, no con voz alta, pero cantarlo. Este, hay películas así con subtítulos que tú puedes eh, pronunciar ciertas frases, ¿verdad? Así que el punto es, Wendy, que tu pronunciación es bastante buena. Te felicito. Eh, siento que ya diste el paso de estar como con miedo a, a arriesgarte y pues considero que si tienes, todos tenemos que mejorar, tienes que mejorar un poquito de vocabulario, pero tu gramática es buena, tu pronunciación es buena y tenés fluidez, tenés rapidez, ¿verdad? Cuando se está leyendo o, o hablando, lo que sea, pues la rapidez es importante. Así que este... Yo no creo, no creo que tenga dudas con los temas, ¿verdad? Creo que los has captado bastante bien. Sí, sí los he captado. Me alegra, me alegra. Así que, sí. pues, nada más animarte que, que sigas. Eh, no sé si voy a estar con ustedes en el otro módulo, porque nos, nos rotan, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, eh, ya me di cuenta. Sí, este, solo una vez estuve cuatro módulos con un grupo que fue bien extraño que me los pusieron, porque de siempre, siempre me, me, me los cambian. A todos nos cambia. Y eso ayuda para que los, los, los eh, participantes se adapten a diferentes tipos de pronunciación, metodología, ¿verdad? Pero sí, si sí se da la el, el, el oportunidad de seguir con ustedes, con gusto, ¿verdad? Y si no, pues, espero que pues, eh, les haya gustado las clases, ¿verdad? Sé sí, que no es fácil. Bien. Súper bien, no, no es fácil. Este, eh, pues con el trabajo, otras actividades. Eso. Pero igual eh, hay un objetivo, entonces ese objetivo tiene que lograrse. Así es, buen día. Así que, pues, es un gusto. Cualquier cosa, ahí está mi número, ¿verdad? Me escriben cualquier duda o, o inquietud que tengan, ¿verdad? Así que ánimo, te felicito y me alegra, gracias. me alegra que, 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 que estés avanzando bastante. ¿Ok, Wendy? Gracias, Ticheo, de verdad. Muchas gracias, Oye. Pasa feliz noche. Bueno, bye, feliz bye. noche. Bye.